profesor David Feynman, director del Centro Nacional de Energía Solar, ha desarrollado un nuevo tipo de energía que podría ser la respuesta del futuro cuando se acabe el combustible. En caso de ser adoptado el método de Feynman, plantas de energía solar reemplazarían a las centrales de combustible. Lentes económicos de cristal podrían concentrar la luz en una pequeña celda. It's photovoltaic technology, but the achievement is that we separate out the collection function of a photovoltaic cell to the light conversion to electricity function. And we collect the light, instead of using a huge area of so solar cells, we use an equal area of cheap glass mirrors. And they are curved in such a way as to concentrate the light onto a very small solar cell, the size of just one cell. And in this way you concentrate the light a thousand times and you can get a thousand times more power. The average person who lives in a sunny area, um, perhaps the, the desert of uh, California or Texas or New Mexico, Nevada or Spain, Italy, south of France, North Africa, anywhere in the Middle East, would be able to put a dish in his garden about 10 square meters, that's about three meters by three meters, and generate most of the home's electricity needs. And for big power companies, utilities, they could build fields, tens of square kilometers, to provide large percentages of the country's electricity requirements. I think you can solve the energy problem of many countries, of essentially all sunny countries. Mientras que los países del Medio Oriente se acuerdan en temas variados, el sol es algo que todos tienen en común. 